So, some of you might be wondering what KVK is like on K40. <laughs> I'm here to to let you know what it's like. So, K40 was paired up against K54, um, and you can see over there that really um, K54 won, and they won by quite a long margin. 4 million points versus 9.5 billion points. Um, if we, or well, maybe if you're not that familiar, let's just go and have a look at the rankings. So, in terms of the Alliance Power rankings, um, we can see a lot of those alliances are still in K. In K40, MHL, NDM, there's Red Devils, um, yeah, I'm sitting in <laughs> the White Wolves, just messing around. So if we go and have a look at the power rankings, there's the power rankings. So there we can see <laughs> some huge players. Um, MHL, a lot of those players still in K40. Um, if we go and have a look, yeah, so some big, big, big players. Some huge players over there. Um, let's go and have a look at how they did in the KVK. So, if we have a look at the alliance points, you can see Bloody Eclipse coming through, scoring the most amount of alliance points, although quite closely followed by the Bloods Remember. Let's just go and have a look. Um, so they sit in at 67 at the moment, 50 huge alliances, there's K40 coming in. Um, the cartel, they also sit in in K54. Let's go and have a look at those solo point scores. Virgil scoring the most amount of points. If you go and have a look, yeah, two and a half billion. Darius then coming in from K40. Also two and a half. Napoleon the fourth from the cartel then coming in, huge amount of points, their power, yep, um, <laughs> um, and then, who's this, old viking, okay, a bit more of a um, power that I'm used to, Canastan <laughs> coming in there, sure, I mean, these, these are the big, big players. Um, breathe. Yeah. And then those are, the, those are the rest. And I'll just scroll through. There's Bubble T's coming through. Um, what's their power like now? Okay. Um... Hopefully they watch this video. <laughs> um, let's have a look at the kills. Those are probably far more impressive. So the cartel, Devious coming in there. Nice. Coming in there with the most amount of eliminations, then Darius coming in. Second place, there's Burgle. Um, Old Viking coming in. There we go, Bubble T's did a lot more, um, <laughs> a lot more in terms of the eliminations. Uh, wasn't sitting in the castles, in the great castles to get those points of theirs. There's Napoleon IV coming in, Canastin, um, and some of the other names. It's quite interesting to see these names of the players that... Um, <laughs> I see in all of the other videos. 
So definitely worth the one translocation scroll it took to get over here. Uh, my alliance ranked number 15, so very good job. And a shout out to the White Wolves. Good, good job. So in terms of the solo points, the most valued player then goes to Darius from K40 and to Burgle from K54. If we go and have a look, we then see in terms of the most valued killer, we've got Devious for K54 and Darius again for K40. So, let's just have a look. So solo points, there's K54, K40. Let's see if I can remember these names. In terms of the solo points, so let's have a look. Uh, might be quite a while before we see. I might have scrolled past. Oh, good to see Texan coming in there. Good job, Texan, from K63. There's Burgle coming in over there, so I've actually gone and scrolled right past. Yeah, okay, so Burgle scored the most amount of points and they ranked. Um, that was Texan, there we go, and they ranked 39th overall. So good, good job. Let's go and have a look at the kills. So the kills was Devious. Um, and let's go and have a look over here. I suppose I should remember what their, their points is. We'll make it a bit easier. And they didn't rank in the top 100. I don't think. I was looking out in terms of the points. Um, There's Texan coming in there. Oh, I'm looking at this again. So they don't show the solo kills, only the solo points. Okay, well, that's good to know. Never too old to learn something new. If we go and have a look here at the total amounts of points scored by the different alliances, I know it's, this one is a bit tough because they're probably a bit all over the place. Um, in terms of where their, there's BCL, in terms of where their actual players are sitting. And there's um, Mahalika coming in there, ranked 30th. So definitely one of the big, big, big KVK matches. Um, yeah, all I did during that was gather. <laughs> um, a bit too dangerous to do anything else with my alt account but yeah a really really interesting one so let's go and have a look at those castles so there we can see um bdr held <laughs> bdr held all of the castles well k54 held all of the castles and there's bdr 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 bcl 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 let's go have a look at these landing There we go. Hmm. Wolves and Lions, Red Devil, so there's the K54. Um, BDR and BCL holding it for the most amount of time. Let's go and have a look at K54. See what's going on there. There's the Cartel, the Cartel, Run, um, K19. <laughs> K54, K54, K54. So really, really well done to the K54 alliances. It seems like maybe I must move my ult to K54. So I'm only going to see what's happening. But we can see that Mahalika MHL managed to hold it for just under two hours. So good job to them.
So I hope you enjoyed this matchup, this KVK matchup. Let me know if there are any other um, kingdoms you think I should join so I can give you a bit of feedback on how their KVK wins. Thanks very much, everyone. Cheers.